friends, how are you today? I um, I have been um, working diligently yesterday and today on something a little new that I want you to tune in and watch. Um, I'll tell you about that in just a few minutes. But um, today I wanted to talk to you real briefly about travel. I know some of you follow Scott and I quite a bit and you've noticed that we do a lot of travel, especially in the winter time. So from like October through now, Usually we try to schedule some trips and get away to where it's warm because I honestly cannot stay in the cold. And I don't know if you feel the same way, but I like to escape winter and chase summer around the globe. And eventually that's gonna be a huge goal of ours in a couple years when he retires as well. But um, some people were like, oh my gosh, you're traveling, it's flu season. And then there's this new coronavirus that's out all over the place. And honestly, we have not been afraid of that. Um, we um, take precautions in what we do when we travel. For one thing, I, um, um, recently, not all the time, but recently I started when we fly, if I um, hear someone coughing or something around me, I kind of cover up some way. But this last time, the last couple times, I got these little masks because I did not want to catch the flu during flu season. Even though I took the flu shot, um, I didn't want the other strain that's out and about. And I didn't want Scott to get it either because they're really short at work and he needed to have that. So um, I packed these in my little, little carry-on just in case there's someone around that's coughing a lot or somewhat. Um, I've also heard that, that you can turn on the air vent that air flowing from um, kind of gives you like a cone of protection. So that's, that's what I do on the flight. So I freeze, but I have that cone of protection on me also. And what I noticed recently when we went to Cancun is since the coronavirus, um, has outbreak. I saw a lot of people just wearing these masks all the time. And I mean, we didn't do that because honestly, we, um, we take, um, some precautions that I'll tell you about in a few minutes to help us. But if for some reason you're traveling and you're wanting to, um, be careful about if you get there and get some sickness, this is some, these are, I've got a couple things that I picked up from the health food store. Um, and I've had these, just in case we catch the flu, this is a natural, an all natural um, homeopathic medication that's good and, and I'll, that's what it, it's, I don't know if I can pronounce this, Oscillococcium, Coconum, but it's from a company, um, Boron, Boiron, but it, they're a maker of homeopathic medications and this is something that I've kept at home in case we ever get the flu that kind of is supposed to decrease the effects of it. Um, it's also a way that I've heard from different homeopathic doctors. I'm, I'm in a health and wellness company that, that's full of, of doctors and chiropractors and homeopathic um, professionals. And this is something that they recommended um, for people to take in this outbreak and during flu season to help minimize the effects of any contamination you might get. Something else that you've probably heard about is elderberry syrup. If you get sick, that's a great thing to do. To there, there are a lot of people that make it from their homes. You could probably Google a recipe and do that. But something that they ought, that I also found at a health food store was this immune defense. It's an elderberry immune defense. So it boosts up your your immunity so that you um, you know are a little bit stronger internally with that. So that's that's something that that I've recently acquired. Um, I haven't taken this yet, but I'm going to start taking that because I'm going to be doing some visits in the schools recent, um, in March, and I didn't want to come into contact with any flu there, so I'll be boosting up my immunity a little bit with that. Lastly, the thing that Scott and I um, have been on for three years is, and I know you've heard me talk about this little yellow pill, um, and it truly, I feel like, has helped us um, to maintain our health when we travel. It and that with our other two tri-synergizer products have really helped us, um, I think, get our body to the optimum health that it can be. So you know how when you were younger, you could fight off different diseases a lot easier? I feel like since these turn back the clock in our body, they, um, in our cells, they really help your body to fight whatever is naturally around you. And it's all natural. I mean, the power of plants, is amazing. I don't know if you've looked into that or researched. I'm mean, happy to share some videos with you, but you know, God designed our bodies and he also made the plants. 
So I think that he knows what he's doing in that developing products, um, you know, making products, making plants in our world. And we've developed, used those plants to develop these products to help us um, synergize our cells so that they function just like they were when you were little, which that's incredible for me. But I feel like that that's really helped us. And if you want more information on, on any of these products, I can share with you um, a couple links to let you see what, what it's all about. But we definitely take the Vitality Stack and our NADS Energizer. And I really feel like that all of these products have helped us to maintain health when we've traveled. We're not afraid to travel, but in case you are traveling, you might wanna pick up some of this from the health food store. Please do not get it from Amazon. Don't get products from Amazon. Um, there are so many fake products from other countries and um, you know, I don't wanna name any certain countries, but, but they are out there on Amazon and they're fake and they're not, you're not paying for what you think you are. So go to a reputable local health food store. Um, I'll be happy to recommend some for you if you live in the central Kentucky area where I've gone. Um, but get your products from a store. If you're getting any um, health, health food store, health products, don't go to Amazon. Um, reach out to me if you have any questions and I'll be happy to point you in the right direction. Um, oh, I was gonna tell you what I've been working on also. Um, my YouTube channel. I have a YouTube channel and I've kinda had a little collection of little just fun family videos and stuff on there in the past, but now it looks authentic. <laughs> it's legit. So I'll post the link to that down there um, in the comments in just a few minutes. If you wouldn't mind, take a peek at it. And if you could please subscribe, that would great be greatly appreciated, um, even if you don't like it. it. Won't hurt my feeling, just subscribe. And you click on the bell and that will give you notice when I put something up there that might be interest to you, might interest you. Right now we have a lot, I think like 27 little videos from travel and some things, some little tips and stuff that I've had, some health and wellness videos, little videos from our grandbabies, just little fun things. I just wanted to make a, a YouTube channel to kind of catalog everything um, and keep them forever. So enjoy the rest of your day and check it out. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.